So, Konnichiwa. Hi from my side. Uh, my name is Sebastian Deschner. I'm very happy to be here back in, in Fukuoka. We were here basically one year ago. Who um, reminds that? Who, uh, who remembers that? Who was here one, we uh, one year ago? Hands up. Uh, a few. That's good. Um, yeah, so welcome to the Oracle Code Japan tour in the stop in Fukuoka. My name is Sebastian Deschner and uh, we have uh, Stephen Chin, who is the director of Oracle uh, Technology Network. Um, and we have been touring around in Japan by motorbike and speaking to Java user groups and bringing the uh, Java technology around Japan. So about the Java community, we have a lot of Java developers worldwide, over 10 million. Who in this room is a Java developer? Java? Java? The, the, there should be more hands. Everybody here should be <laughs> a Java developer. <laughs> Very good. And we have a lot of Java user groups as well, over 300 worldwide. Who is a member of a Java user group? Hands up. Uh, there should be more hands since this is a Java user group here. <laughs> yes, very good. Very good. Um, and we have um, about 200 Java champions. And the so-called JCP, the Java community process, who knows what the JCP is about? Hands up. Uh, a few, but not everybody. So um, the nice story about the Java platform is that everybody can participate and help shaping the future of Java. So how the Java platform and the Java language will evolve and will look like in the next versions. And this is something that is very unique for the Java platform and that cannot be found in most of the other programming lam languages. And it means that every developer is invited to help shaping the future of Java. And the JCP, what it does, it um, forms the standards that make up the Java platform, for example, for Java Enterprise. And there are so-called expert groups who form these specific standards uh, called JSRs, Java Specification Requests. And everybody is invited to look at the process, how these JSRs are developed while they're being developed and provide feedback, right? So if the API is currently being formed and you look at it, no matter if you're part of the JCP program or not, you can provide feedback. If you like the current state, uh, state of uh, the work, if you have better ideas and so on and so forth. And the expert groups are very happy to get feedback from everybody because I'm also part of uh, two expert groups for Java EE, for JAXRS and for JSMP and because we want to build an API that is as good as possible right, and serves the purpose and therefore we need as much feedback from real world projects and real world experience as possible. So everybody is invited of course to join the JCP, the Java community process but also if you're not a member just provide feedback and look at the current state of the art, uh, work. So Java E8 is currently being developed and you can have a look at uh, the APIs. Most of them are not final yet, so there is, uh, st that is still subject to change and I encourage everybody to take a look at this. So about the Java community. We have a lot of Java user groups. Here you can see a big picture of a lot of, a lot of Jack, uh, members all around the world. And yeah, the Java community is a lot about fun, right? So this was the community keynote at last, um, one's Java uh, last year's Java 1. And oh, do you recognize this guy? <laughs> or th this guy? <laughs> 
And uh, Ito-san was also, uh, he's uh, unfortunately not on that picture, but he was also uh, in the Java community <laughs> keynote. So what that was, that was a um, Star Wars theme keynote um, at the Java One conference in San Francisco. And of course, it was a lot of fun. It was related to Java and we had a nice uh, story and the plot with a lot of cool Java related demos. So, you know, it's a lot about fun. And there are a lot of Java conferences around the world uh, the whole year, but also some Java unconference. And what an unconference is, it is a conference without speakers because everybody is a speaker. All the attendees are speakers and are invited to collaborate and to, uh, to communicate together. And also there is mostly no schedule rather than the schedule with the sessions is formed every day. Right, so in the morning you just meet and you discuss what topics you would like to talk about. And this is a very open and nice format to collaborate about various kind of ideas within technology. And there are some conferences, uh, unconferences that are quite cold. Here you see uh, the JFocus unconference in Sweden. This was this year. And this was slightly warmer. This is the famous J. Crete unconference in the island of Crete, which is also very nice. We have a lot of uh, time spending on the beach and also always philosophizing about technology. And last year, when Steve and I came to Japan, we thought, hmm, maybe there should be a Java unconference in Japan, right? And last year there wasn't any so far. So we thought, hmm, why not just organize a Java unconference in Japan? What we called J Onsen, which is the most relaxing unconference out there. And uh, you definitely can see how relaxing it is uh, by looking at Duke's picture. He's enjoying uh, the time at an onsen. So two weeks ago, we um, spent two and a half days on the beautiful um, Itsu Peninsula in, at Shimoda and spent some time philosophizing about uh, Java, collaborating about um, technology, the Java community and especially the Java community in Japan. We had speakers from both Japan and the rest of the world there to, well, collaborate together about all kind of ideas. And the idea of an unconference is mostly that, that you have like 50% uh, content and the rest of the day uh, are just fun activities. For example, we enjoyed the Japanese cuisine, right? We had some really um, delicious um, sushi and sashimi and all, <laughs> all kind of good food. Right, and also we had some fun activities. We visited the aquarium in Shimoda and had an astonishing um, dolphin live show that was really, really amazing, what we saw. And I think that all of the attendees enjoyed uh, the time at Jay Onsen. So Jay Onsen is our attempt to, well, make more collaboration from the Japanese Java comu community to a global audience. So this is why we uh, we both invited international speakers and uh, speakers from Japan to well collaborate and to communicate um, about Java and technology. And since this was such a great event, we want to continue this the uh, next year for Jay Onsen 2018. So I want to invite everybody to join Jay Onsen next year. You can see how relaxing it is by uh, the Jay Onsen logo. <laughs> and if you would like, then you can follow the Twitter handle at, at um, Jay Onsen Unconf or go on the website jayonsen.jp and you will find a registration uh, form for a newsletter sign up so you know when the registration will open for next year. And I kindly invite everybody to think of if you like onsens and if you like Java, then well, this might be a perfect um, opportunity to combine these two passions and speak about technology next year at J. Onsen 2018. 
So feel free to sign up there and yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.